Hi, I'm Roger Stoop. And I'm James Chandler. This year came with plenty of unique challenges, but the Malnati Brain Tumor Institute remained committed to our mission of advancing the treatment and the understanding of brain and spine tumors. In July 2021, the Neurosurgical Oncology Group was expanded through the recruitment of Dr. Stephen McGill. Dr. McGill is an outstanding physician scientist with advanced training in minimally invasive treatments for skull-based tumors. Dr. McGill's primary research interest is in the biology of meningiomas. Also in 2021, our departmental research leadership underwent an exciting transition. Dr. David James, who's been with the Institute for over 10 years, was transitioned to Professor Emeritus. He remains as a mentor, advisor, and collaborator to many of our Northwestern brain tumor researchers. After a nationwide search, we are privileged that Dr. Amy Heimberger accepted the role as our new vice chair for research in the Department of Neurosurgery and the Jean Malnati Miller Professor of Brain Tumor Research as well as the Scientific Director of the Malnati Brain Tumor Institute of the Lurie Comprehensive Cancer Center. Dr. Heimberger is a brilliant neurosurgeon and an internationally recognized leader in the field of glioma research. Recently, she was appointed by the White House to the National Cancer Advisory Board. We are confident that Dr. Heimberger's leadership will accelerate our journey towards being a leading center in the world for bench-to-bedside neurotherapeutics. I'm Amy Heimberger, and I'm the Scientific Director of the Manati Brain Tumor Institute. I'm also the co-principal investigator of the Robert H. Lurie Comprehensive Cancer Center of Northwestern University's Specialized Programs of Research Excellence, or what's commonly known as the SPORE grant from the National Cancer Institute. As such, I am proud to report on the progress of our efforts and advancing translational research and improving outcomes for patients with brain cancer. Through the Brain Tumor Spore, we've brought together both basic and clinical researchers to propel our translational efforts. One of the projects, headed by the Chair of Neurological Surgery, Dr. Matt Lesniak, is the first of its kind of a neural stem cell therapy that works with a virus to target brain cancers. This year, the Lurie Cancer Center was also awarded a U19 by the NCI, a multi-component award that encourages a collaborative approach. These prestigious grants not only illustrate the excellence in research that is done here at Northwestern, but also highlight the significance of multidisciplinary research. I think the strength of our program here is really the proximity of our laboratory research to clinical research. In other words, bench to the bedside and then back to the bench for further refinement. We literally build the bridge that connects the hospital to our research labs across the street. And that bridge represents exactly how accessible these resources are to our patients. Northwestern draws upon its vast fund of scientific and clinical resources, allowing us to offer creative interdisciplinary approaches to the challenges facing our patients. In collaboration with the clinical trials team of the Robert H. Lurie Comprehensive Cancer Center, we are able to provide our patients with tomorrow's treatments and technology today. We are now one of the largest centers in the world utilizing ultrasound technology to open up the blood-brain barrier, thereby allowing for delivery of drugs and treatments that previously could not reach the brain. Dr. Daniel Brett, our chairman of pathology and a world-renowned neuropathologist, was a co-author of a recently published revision of the WHO classification of tumors of the central nervous system. What has been standard for the MBTI for over a decade namely the integration of molecular characterization and routine diagnostics for brain tumors, has now become a worldwide standard. Molecular profiling allows for more sophisticated diagnoses and informs our clinicians and researchers on potentially more tailored therapeutics. Recently, our neuropathology team launched a service that allows us to profile the methylation patterns of DNA for brain tumors. This technique identifies commonalities or differences among tumors that traditional diagnostics could not previously differentiate. This technology is currently only available at a handful of institutions in the United States. These results remind us daily that our work is not yet done. The work of the Malnati Brain Tumor Institute shows that when teams across disciplines work together and combine multiple modalities, we can modify the course of brain tumors in a meaningful manner for many patients. More research and collaboration is needed for further improvements and we will not rest until we find a cure for this disease. We are motivated every day by our patients because what makes us better really is what makes them better.